All right, anyways. Uh... Wait, what did he say? My eight lures one back. <laughs> Oh my god, I dare you say that in front of Reen. Should do a fishing competition uh, uh, with Reen, you know. Welcome back to Trails to Azure, video number 36 so far. So as you can see, I'm at the West Crossbell Highway because I want you guys to guess what I've been doing off screen. Just 10 minutes. Surprise! But, but anyways, yeah, I've been grinding here at the moment until I find a better spot to get more uh, U materials here because the only enemy I know that they drop U materials is Metal Beetle so yeah how's it going well hopefully uh, hopefully if my memory gets better I used to there you go I got one U material and yeah this is what I've been doing up and down up and down I used to do uh, get new materials in um, Stargazer's Tower, but the problem is there's no enemies at the moment there in this sequel because you know the events happening. But they will be back, right? <laughs> uh, thank you in the comments about Stargazer's Tower. I think I trying to remember something. And of course, there's so many events been happening in Stargazer's Tower. Especially in Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4. Oh, so, yeah. Monsters will be back, right? Hey, good job, Wazzy. So, yeah, this is what I've been doing. I've got some more uh, Sapith, but... Damn it! Uh, I could just sell... I got, like, a lot of that shit in a shell. I could just get some extra Mira. But... So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. So, let's go back. I will see you guys at... East Crossbell Highway because we're gonna do another request. We're gonna go to Amarka Village along the way, get some treasure chests, and yeah, I'll see you guys there and I'll give you guys updates. Jesus Christ. So, just for an update, you guys, a change of plans. I will explain it in a second after I decide to. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade a slot or two. So, of course, main character, Lloyd. There you go, Max is too. Of course, it gets expensive, right, if you go down, which makes sense. Oh, of course, one for Ellie, because she's... Hey, hold on. See, look at this. <laughs> Damn. 600. Uh, sure, why not this one? Uh, I'll do one more. Uh, yes, Randy. Welcome back. I want to... Uh, yeah. And then I'll upgrade these two later very soon. Now... Yeah, I know I was supposed to do this off screen. Let's see. I want, yes, a more evade too. I'll get one of this and uh, one of this because uh, I like to go first. More speed is good. Maybe I'll get attack too. Wait, hold on. Let me check if there's. So I did got one of this confused uh, off screen because. Uh, there's a trade I want to get for detection for the treasure chest, but the problem is I don't have um, EP charge 3 or something, and I don't know how to get that early, so... Oh well, eventually. I haven't done any trading a lot in the first game. What is the other one I want? Uh, maybe I want... Uh... Dang, I forgot. <laughs> I guess HP 2 or shield... Dang it. Oh well, HP2 for now. Alright, so, uh. Hmm. Yeah, you can have this. Giving it to my front lines. Randy, you can have the HP2. Move it. You can have, uh. Made one. Lloyd is my main character anyway, so... Yeah, you can have the action too. More speed is good. I mean, this is also good for... Uh, what's his name? Wazi. I'm not really professional, but, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Like, whatever I have, equip, and... And then I'll find better quartz soon. 
Huh, information. I know I was supposed to, like... What the heck? I'm sorry, I was holding the button. Yeah, that's another thing I need to pay attention for this. Huh. Randy doesn't have an impede, so why not? I'll give him... Well, I could give him this, but... Yeah, just in case... Uh, so sorry you guys you can see what the heck I'm doing a bit but, but then my future videos I will do a cut and then I'll show you guys what I did alright very soon these two so but for now yeah I'll use Wazi at the moment uh, you can have move one alright so that's it for now for quartz now before we go Amorco Village or East Crossbell Highway, right? Yeah. Now, if you guys, I almost forgot. So after I finished that, uh, what's his name? Zin. Yeah, Zin. Because he was so scared of Zet. How's it going, Zet? Start putting a beware of guard dog sign while you're out here. Yeah. Oh, you mean be beware of wolf? Oh, well, I mean, he's a police dog or police wolf. I mean, that's awesome. Now, after finishing that uh, hidden request, the Zin of the city. Yeah, I almost forgot. We can go play Pom Pom. Oh, my God. We're going to go fight our second opponent. Um, it's not so bad finding all the opponents. As long as you check everything, the exclamation mark in Trails of Cold Steel 4. But probably this game, I might gonna miss certain people. I don't know how many opponents there are. I might gonna talk to Fran after this. So here it is, Michael. Huh. Mick, Mick, forget it. Yep, he does have a character portrait. So yeah, again, I am doo doo at this, but the more I play, I'll get better, hopefully. I just need to think fast and do some good combos and all. Uh, so I'll show this off first time. Oh gosh. Come on, man. I'm. This is the song already that you're going against tough opponents. I'm not kidding. In uh, Trails of Cold Steel 4. When you're fighting the last three opponents or something. Ooh. Does it hold? Okay, good. For defense. Oh, what am I. What am I doing? Oh! That was bad. See, I like this better because you can see the thing, but in Trails of Cold Steel 4, I was so dumb. And right now, as you can see, I'm failing. Oh! No! <laughs> what am I doing? What the heck? Oh, gosh. I need to... That's the thing with... Oh, my... Oh! Oh! I, I pressed it! I pressed it! What the heck? Oh well, let's try again. So one more fail and then I'll do a fail montage until I win. Now I should have learned, um, I should have remember. The trick is to try to... I don't know, I've learned it. And I'm doing so well in Trails of Cold Steel 4. It takes a lot of time and practice. Um, you have to get rid of the stuff in the middle. Because in the middle, that's it, you're screwed. I... I used to play Dr. Mario, I was pretty good at it as a kid, but now I suck. I haven't played a lot of puzzle games like this, like Match 3. Uh, I'd rather play, like, <laughs> Pokemon Puzzle League instead of this, or uh, that other one, the Kirby game on the Super Nintendo. Oh, I love that game. I love the music. There we go. Uh, but as, as you can see, I'm still doo-doo. So... So please be patient. It's gonna take me. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh! This is it. Wait. Oh, I'm, I was pressing the wrong button. I was so stupid. I just realized. I I was pressing the R2 buttons instead of it's R1 or L1. You know what I mean? Damn it! I was pressing the wrong button the whole time. But hey, second try, win. Unfortunately, you don't get anything. Does he say something after you lose or win? There, I beat Michael. Um, what's next? Uh, I want to talk to Fran. Because Fran also has that terminal. 
I mean, that's the only way to play Pom Pom Party, right? And I bet Yona is one of them, and Tio. And maybe some certain characters, but we'll see. Uh, this one. So let's go visit uh, Fran. Or probably, well, I just want to talk to her just in case, but probably it's not in this chapter or. Let's see. Yeah, she's busy. Because <laughs> he doesn't have time to play Pom Pom Party, so. Oops. But you know, we just came here to chit chat. Yep, busier than ever. Yeah, have fun. Watch. She's going to play Pom Pom Party soon. Ha uh ha. -huh. Wait, anything else? Man, she's really, really positive and all. Uh oh. Oh! So this is the place where you talk to. Re oh yeah, I forgot about that. We got like, I think, two data fragments, so. So we found it in like, in random treasure chests. Well, not really random, but certain treasure chests, so. Okay, so here you go. Fragment. How did she see that? In our pockets? In our bag? <laughs> it's like, we're like holding it the whole time, but no. To restore a corrupted memory quartz. Oh, it's exactly what the forensics team has been looking for. What? So with this, it should be possible to decipher a portion of the quartz. Oh, so that's what it... Okay. Really? Joshim. Okay. I don't know how many of them, but we'll see about this. It's kind of a little bit reminds me of, uh, yeah, Black Record stuff, but it's pretty, very, very different story. Forensics. All right. So we got more clue. Clues. More uh, deciphering stuff. Page one of the terminal. Oh, okay. Oh, we got page one and page three on our order. So I'll read that um, off screen once I, if I can try to get the fragments, more fragments. So I can see what's been happening about the history of the DG cult and what's been happening in Crossbell, what Joshim been doing and his plans. Because we, we couldn't figure that out. Uh, I also want to figure out what the heck is that? Like, uh, the D for, right? Yeah, D. I thought it was like demons or something. So right here. There we go. So yeah, I'll read this stuff off screen. I can read it right now while I'm editing. So pause it if you want to read it. <laughs> Goddess of the Sky. Man, this is, uh, oh, there you go. So if I can find more pages, uh, memory quartz, yeah. And this is the stuff that we got from the, those orbo, those computer things that we found in the, uh, that dungeon, the final dungeon. The, uh, what is it called again? Damn it. <laughs> uh, battlefield. Yeah, sun, the sun fort underground. And that's crazy. There was three terminals and couldn't decipher it, but we have to find the memory quartz of it. Oh yeah, don't forget this one. Yeah, we had to do that all over again because, you know, there's more new stronger monsters now. They're like over level 50. So with pleasure. There's so much to do in this game. Heck yeah. So what do we get? Hey, there we go. We're getting more U materials. In the first game, Trails from Zero, we only get one every time. So hopefully we get better data or better rewards the more we collect uh, monster data and enemies. So I guess that's it. Hold on. What else is going on here? Coffee? No, it's the same thing. So very soon, in if you play Trails of Cold Steel 3, they're going to start releasing these... Uh, vending machines in public which is nice and i wish we can go down here but no yeah we can avoid that vice um commissioner is that his name i don't know i, I don't even give a crap about that guy upstairs um oh that's emma right yeah i need to stop thinking of emma the other emma with celine but 
yeah, taking care of it one by one in a slow pace. Because I was checking everything. Just performing the final checks and... Oh. And yeah, we can't go there right now until we finish it, our request. I don't know where he... Oh, he's right... Okay. Yeah, because this is a very important meeting tomorrow. That's why the... Yeah, they're doing security check, everything. Because, you know, there is certain terrorists going on, which is the <clears throat> Liberation Front. <clears throat> <laughs> I cannot say a certain name because it's a really big plot twist yeah story it's very important man a certain someone uh, I mean just in case again if you guys never played it I gotta be careful with spoilers sometimes certain uh, things so sorry I apologize about that since I've been talking about like you know, Trails of Cold Steel games and this one. Uh, because I did play it. So, I guess that's it at the moment. Around in Crossbell. So, let's go. More action, right? So, let's go East Crossbell Highway. I'm not going to take the bus. I want to go on foot. If I have that detection quartz. Damn it. It's the treasure chest, but not yet. Let's go. So, I'm still going to play as... Ellie and I gotta pay attention for fishing spots because they did change uh, some certain fishing spots so let's take a look again because there's a reason why I want to go on foot because this one dangerous monster sepid demon oh probably it's nearby a marker road all right but again I want to get all the treasure chest I just got that a lot from fighting those beetles Yep, the monsters are still here. Oh, oops. Burger bug. Oh, well, I was supposed to identify with uh, Ellie, but whoops. Pieces of crossbow and insect can slow its prey with the sticky string. Uh, king potato. Red flies. Oh, jeez, level 59? I think we're like around, well, we should be almost level 58 or 57 or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Randy. I got the king potato. What the heck's my level? Oh, okay. Jeez, I thought I was, I was around like 56 or 57. Jeez, I got a bad memory. Just checking our tactics. I should be a treasure chest here. Yep. Oh, damn it. I want EP charge 3, but never mind. Yeah, clip that grass into me. What? The last time you opened me, it sort of woke something. Wow. Well, that's nice. It's going to show uh, some treasure jokes, treasure chest jokes, whatever, a uh, re little reference. Like, there's going to be some of them that you opened them last time, and they will say it, something again. So that's awesome. Yeah, get it? Because that grass clip thing. See that right there? The grass on through the treasure chest. Alright, <laughs> anyways. Jeez. Should be another monster. Yeah. Oops. Wait, hold the phone. I don't remember a bird flying here. I don't remember. Never mind, let's just fight it. Does that look like a metal saucer? Like an alien thing? No. no. Uh, oh gosh, uh, little bit. Aliens? I oh, know it's like some kind of bird thing. A bird monster, yeah, with a body of pure steel. Each feather is as sharp as an owl. Uh, hates earth. Ah, oh, wait. Okay, I'm think I'm. I think I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> my bad, my uh, commentary. So mostly like metal monsters. They drop you materials or the uh, the tougher monsters, strong opponent ones. You know. Okay. So because we got metal beetle and then these birds. You know, I, Adios. I'm, I might grind here if I want to, but it's a bit farther near the edge, so I can keep making it respawn. 
too bad we can't climb up here still. And we can't go through here, invisible wall, but I'm here for this. Pinko earrings. Still haven't been told what this tower is for, so as far as I'm concerned, welcome to Crossbell ch Chest Tower. Yeah, because mostly people just came here for a treasure chest. Used to be an old lighthouse, but never mind. Let's see, what is that item again? I can't even memorize the... Oh, okay, that makes sense. You tickle them while they're sleeping, but no. Tinkle. Oh, let's go back. Yeah, let's go. Thank gosh, high speed mode. Oh, gosh damn it. I just realized, I finally realized I don't have the quartz also to for the monsters on the field. So I gotta find it, and it won't show that thing, right? On the map, so... Bomber. All I have is just this information, but that doesn't count on the field, so... Make egg thing again. Yeah, egg snake. Oh, forget it. I'm too lazy to, you know, for Ellie. I'll just do this quickly and kill it. Crushes around its venomous fangs. Yep. That poison dies. <laughs> Randy. Every time the arrows. Nice, level up. Got more of these slug burger slugs. <laughs> Must have got tired of it going around in circles. Yeah, I shall just stop this fight. Why did I do that? I should have attacked something else. Oh, damn it. Oh well, uh. Oops. Nice. I remember this craft right here, Salamander. My my old friend really likes using this a lot. I just noticed something. Yeah, now it's, they nerf it down to 40% in the uh, in Trails from Zero, the first game. Uh, I think it was higher, like pretty high, like. 80%? I don't remember. Yeah, they cut it by half. Dang. Because you can burn enemies easily. As long as they don't have the resistance burn. Dying. Man, they made some nerfs. I was very disappointed about Ellie, but you know, it's pretty broken. So you can get CP and, and health every time. Nice. I might gonna change this, but... Oh well. I was supposed to equip Lloyd the defense one. Whoops. Hey, a new monster. Yosh. Yosh. Uh, analyze. And I'll just uh, move a bit. Grass strong. All right, wind arts, endless spring of orbital energy within. Die. I was expecting this week of fire, but no, it's week of earth. So, okay. So burn it. <laughs> no, not burn it. <laughs> I keep thinking of fire. I might grind here if I want new materials, but no. Well, maybe. I'll think about it. And nice, there's a bird right here. So, oh, jeez. So I can get you materials here, because these are higher level enemies. Huh. I'm gonna use... What happened to our burst? What happened to our overdrive? Oh, bummer. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess only on certain things. Uh, why not? Let's do a combo. I know it's a waste, but we'll get more CP back, right? Nice fighter. No new materials. I'm just gonna look for treasure chest carefully. No treasure or anything here. 
Jeez, I couldn't miss one. Oh! <laughs> oh well, I'll just fight it. Ow. Dodge! Wazi, start dodging. I guess I'm getting unlucky, but it's alright. I mean, shit happens. Now, I forgot to change tactics here. The only downside for having everyone near together is getting hit by enemy AoE attacks and magic. But the only good thing uh, is, you know, casting buffs so everyone gets it. Hey, another one. I'm fighting you. Because I need more U materials. Please, U materials? I need to get that quartz to increase item drop. No, I got an egg. And eggs are expensive nowadays. Yep, fishing spot still there. Same spot. Yes. Oh, you stupid... Oh, fine, I'll fight you. <laughs> I wanted to open the treasure chest before he noticed me. At least I'm getting more sap, but that's good. I'd love to cast one, two, but the fishing spot is... <laughs> wow, get it? Oh my gosh, cast one. The cast one quartz, but uh, yeah, you use that word cast for fishing to backhand. Why can't I fish anywhere? You know, just like Pokemon, you know, go nearby river or ocean or whatever and then start fishing. You catch Pokemon, water Pokemon or mostly those annoying magic carps. Let's see, uh, you cut. You know, get rid of that. Oh, uh, you can have that cast. Yeah, too far away. Oh no, I have to be on the other side. Hold on, there's one more bird I want to fight. Get over here! Oh, damn it! That was bad. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, I made, I made dumbass mistakes. And it goes right behind us. That thing is pretty fast, the bird. Damn it! I want you materials, but oh well. I'll grind more off screen. You taking that? Hold the phone. Oh, I want to fight you first. Hey, I stunned him or faint. But no, you materials. Now, is this totally random that monsters can come out of the ground or? No. Oh. Probably certain monsters, like those vegetables thing. That makes sense. No treasure chest, but a monster. So I want to go this way because there's a treasure chest and a fishing spot and a monster. I need to stop doing that. I need to, I need to stop doing that. Going around in circles and then he catch me. But thankfully, it's just one monster. I'll be taking that. Scratched into the bottom of the chest is a heart containing what the Anton Plus. The name on the right side has been written over too many times to read. Oh my gosh. Wow. Damn, yeah, Anton. Until there's someone. Oh my god. I feel bad for that Anton guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A friend zone, but you know he'll find the perfect girl. It really sucks to be single, but all right. Anyways, uh... wait, what did he say? My eight lures one back. <laughs> oh my god! I dare you say that in front of Reen. Should do a fishing competition uh, uh, with Reen, you know. I just noticed that. What the hell? All right, I'll do some quick fishing and I'll give you guys updates. Uh, rod and but watch. They don't like dumplings. Watch. Or I could be wrong. <sighs> See? Ma I already got that. Oh well. But hey, not bad. Do it again. Might be another fish. 
What? Wow, 27 now. Getting bigger and bigger. So yeah, the bigger the size, you get better. Now it's 25. Alright, so I understand. I just noticed. I forgot about that, you guys. Now, if I remember in Trails of Cold Steel 3, like for example in 4, like uh, it's nice it shows records. And you know you can you can fish with other characters, certain characters, and it shows their record. You know whoever has the highest, uh, biggest size. I mean, now in this game, now like let's say I got 25 before on a tiger rockfish, and yeah, and it gets better and better. Now if you break that record again, then you get more. There you go, fire sepith. Now if I get it again, 38, it's like you don't get the same. You get like around 10, whatever, like the usual one. But if I can break it again, then I get more fire sepid. So I think I'm understanding the pattern here. Why I'm getting, uh, you know, more fire sepid. So I probably should have do a lot of fishing. But, oh well, do one more. Yes, get to that. So you can see I got 34, so that means I get 10, right? Oh, 50. All right, so it's not bad. One more, actually. It's getting addicting. 23, so I should get 10. Yep. All right, I'm gonna stop right here. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's kind of a bummer. Like these games back then, before you yes. can only fish with Lloyd, the main character, and Reen in Trails of Cold Steel One and Two. But wait until Trails of Cold Steel Three and Four, which is much better. You can fish with other characters. You know, learn how to fish. Come on. Right here. Heck, I want to see Tobol fish. A certain bracer. I don't know if Tobol will be in this game. We'll see. There's a lot of characters I want to see. Huh. So here's a Marco Village. I'll go there soon, but not yet. Circle over here. I got like. Oh! Damn it! And so after I open that treasure chest and then I'll end the video, so sorry about that you guys. Get over here you son of a... Yeah, Persona 3. I'm not kidding you guys, that's the only... Well, I did play Persona 2 a little bit, but I didn't beat it. But Persona 3 is the only game I played and beat. I don't know why I, I didn't play Persona 4, I didn't play Persona 5, I didn't even play the other Persona games. But for me, I'm mostly, uh, you know, the devil side, you know, the Shin Megami Tensei one. But I gotta start playing it back to Persona, you know, I don't know why. I'm starting its own line of oil paints, its flagship pigment, the Scarlet... Oh... oh. <laughs> that name, man, Scarlet. Yeah, S. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna stop the video here. So, this is Ray on Trails to Azure. Next time, we'll continue on. Yeah, East Crossbell Highway again. It's like just from zero. And go to a Marco Village, find that uh, monster, the Sepith Demon. Get more Sepith. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. And goodbye, everyone.